Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and we are going to do my 100 day project and work in this cute little book. And I've just been thinking about it because I don't want to keep you here all day, there's still quite a few pages. So let's get cracking. One thing that I've done is that I, inspired by my mum, I did a little uh, collage sheet on one of these pages with just, um, it's all real ephemera, like real pieces, um, and then I chopped it up into little things. I'm going to make little tags and things like that. So I won't use all of them, but some of them. I've still got, I mean, I just literally cannot even move around here. I thought I might make a little extra tag to go in there. And I'm looking, I'm thinking maybe those colors will work well. So, so I mean, you could write on the back. So I'm just going to do a little cut. Just eyeballing it and snip my little corners off. I did put little pops of colour with the, the painted bits of paper and I am just going to put something little, if I can find something little, on there. I don't want to cover it all up so that they're, they're not going to do the job. Let's just pop over here and see what I have. Now she could, she could be alright. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. Oh, maybe that one. Okay, I'm going to glue that one on there. I'm going to try and be, oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. I'm going to try and be decisive today. <laughs> That's one for the books. Right. Put that on there. Oh, I thought I might have put it on upside down. I've got my crocodile here. I haven't put that away, so... Um, I can punch a hole. Do I want a big hole? Oh, yeah, I think I'll do a big one. And baker's twine. Let's get some baker's twine and just to add a little something else to that pocket. Now you could, um, I know you can't really write too much in this, but you could, um, you know, little things like this on the back of that. You can have, there are lots of little areas in here that can be written on. Now I need something for here. And, oh, I'm going to fall off my chair. Let's get comfortable. Okay, I thought maybe, oh no, that one's going to be too big. I wanted to use one of these. They're a bit um, soft because they're wet. That one's going to be perfect. So I'm going to snip my, see again, you can write on the back of that. Snip my corners off. So this can be like a little mini journal card. And again, I need to decorate it. She may pop out again. Um, I like all this Victoriana stuff for this sort of decorating. Love the little bird. And it, it does need a little bit of something else on it. And, oh, I've got this one over here. I mustn't forget that. That's come out of its spot. And I'm thinking, I might like this tissue paper really is top. there or do I need something no I think I need something stronger not all pale like that green or oh, green's good or I could have I love this sort of just random leaf sort of pattern I don't mind just tearing bits off that I might and then I might not use them because you just use them somewhere else I think I'm gonna like that so let's put that on there let's lock it in Grab some glue, icky glue paper, because it's got, you know, skulls and things like that in it. It's a medical book. I love the way it just sort of becomes one with it. Oh, I'm going to lose that piece of paper. How did I do that? Look at all that glue on there. I'm going to have to grab a wet one. 
I didn't want to, I'm going to put a, some sort of something else on there, I think. Let me just grab, oh, I'll just use the dry wet one. I need something up there. Let's see, maybe, where are they? Honestly, this table is a shocker. I'm going to put in red a little Tracy label. Oh yes, that just fills in that little gap there. And I think it gives it the pop that's needed. Now, somewhere here, I've got some navy blue. The only thing is, I have very sticky fingers. I did wash them before I um, came and did my video because they're already sticky. And what I'm going to do here is just do some random stitching. Put a stick down on there. Over this edge here, because that's going to tuck in there. I don't want them all to be the same. I want it to be messy. This is a very dark navy blue. And I've had this thread since I, I, I before I had Lulu because I, um, it was when I first was trying to. I'm going to come back over. Trying to teach myself to embroider, and I didn't even know how to cut the, the skeins properly, and I had cut them in all short lengths. And so I know that this is one of my first threads that I had because it's all cut in lengths. See, I like that. I like how it looks messy. Okay, and then we'll come back over here. Go through and very carefully put a few little knots in there. If you're worried about it as a... As I've mentioned before, you could just dab with your finger a little bit of glue on there. And that is done. Rather than doing the obvious and adding a tab, we've added a little bit of stitching. And that can just slide in there. That's about as far as it will go comfortably. And it can peekaboo out. There we go. That's done. That's done. That's done. Here I think I might add something else. Let's just add a little something let's see which one takes my i think the colors in this one take my fancy okay i'm gonna to have to do a very good clean up after i've finished all of this aren't i it's a bit of a mess um i want to punch my hole i'm not going to punch a hole do you know what i'm going to do I'm going to cut a little piece of this lovely lace. I think I'm just going to attach. Well, no, because I won't be able to slide in the pocket, but I'm going to attach that there. Stick that on there. And then what? Put that over there so I don't lose it. Oh, it's so much fun. I do have a lot of colour happening on that page, so maybe not. I could have this little piece of book page. This is 1700s book page. We don't want to throw that out. So why don't I stick that somewhere? Maybe there. Okay, and we need to put something pretty on there, I think. 
You never know, I might end up using all of those stamps. Who knows? Oh, I think she's pretty. She does cover up a lot, though. What about this cute little drummer boy? I think he's too tall. Oh, he could go there. I've used the rose somewhere else, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm ignoring that. Um... Oh, covers up too much. I'd say I don't want to cover it all up because I like the background. Oh, there we go. Cute little mini cherub. Oh, I do think I like the boy better. Let's put the boy there. The little boy. The little fella. Okay, and that's going to slide in there. I think that's super cute, all that layering. Okay, um, I haven't decided there yet. Now here, what will we do here? I did pull out a, here it is, a little mini glassine bag. I might put that one on this page and we'll do some sort of decoration on it. So I think I'll just glue that on. And I'll come back to that and then we'll finish that off. I'll just glue it on there. See, a like a glassine bag in one of these is a really great idea because um, it's transparent. You can see what's behind. I wanted to do something here. And then we've still got all of those pages to do. So there's a lot to do. Um, I have pulled out some of my little envelopes too. I thought one of these could be really cute attached somewhere and that would look nice there. It doesn't quite cover all of that up. I could glue that on there and then that is a cute little writing space. Let's see which other ones I've got. I think I like the colours in that one because it has these sorts of colours that sort of remind me of the the galah or the, what I don't know if it's a galah or a pink cockatoo. I'm putting it off to the sides so, so I can see a little bit of that. And I've, can, I've got peekaboos of all of my background there, so I'm not unhappy with that. And then I can slide something in there. I'm not going to slide that in there, I don't think. I might change my mind. I'll wait for it to dry, and then I can think about that. Okay, so that page is done for the minute. I might, I might do something here. I might come along and and um, put something there. Let me have a think. I do love these little embellishments for this sort of stuff. Whoops. No. seeing what's there okay we'll come back to that so we've got to do this I have some thoughts on that now here I did grab an envelope and I'm thinking I might do 
a um, transparent belly band is my thoughts or transparent side tuck even so I can't seem to find my pencil so I'll have to do it with the pen I'll just go just inside it I need to trim I'll just trim that off keep that instant pocket trim this off so it's straight and then I don't want it to be too wide okay and that's going to go there as a side tuck I think or will it go as it probably would work better as a little belly band because it covers less keep all of those they can all be turned into things rather than throwing them out that's the only purpose for keeping them or do I prefer this over here no I prefer it here do I prefer it over there like a tuck or do I prefer it I think I might do it as a side tuck in which case it will glue down on three sides so now I have to just find some little bits and pieces to cover up all those bits so I do have these strips so what I might do is just tear that off oh dear maybe I wouldn't go with the blue because I've got blue there so um, I might put a little bit of I could just get the green there so just trim it there put some glue on it and then I can trim off the excess just make sure I get enough glue just trying to avoid avoid getting too much glue on my table okay let's see that bit's done so we won't use that bit there here I'm just going to do because it's so thin I mean I could stick some paper down there maybe I will anyway I'll try it I'm going to do a bit of mark making on it I know some people don't like it but I like it and then I'm going to come around three sides I think I might even come onto there You could do it in a different colour. If I weren't to like it, I would just cover it up. But I do like it. And it is a just because book so you can have fun with it okay now I need a little strip there and I might just take that piece so let's just tear off a strip I might have that bit there with the, the numbers so I need to stick that there so I can tear that off there and put some glue on it and I do like that I'm just going to fold it over okay 
and then we can have something bigger down here and I'm wondering do I want to go with like a color I've got an itchy eye guys color like that so let's just tear this oh, very bad tearing oh well we'll have to patch it up if it doesn't cover it I'm gonna glue that there Oh, cute. I like that. I like how that looks. I'm just going to trim off this little bit here. And I'm going to use a stronger glue because I've got to go over this plastic here. I'm going to use the, the tacky glue because um, it also dries faster, this one. And I'm going to get a large... It's just harder to put a fine line on. I'm getting it all over my table. Oh no, not too bad. My mat, I should say, is not on the table. Those little people want to be attached at all costs. Can you see them? They're just, they've slipped in under there. Go away. And I love that. I really like the mark making on it. And... I feel like we need a pop of pink. Yeah. Cool. So then we'll let that dry a minute and then we can put something, make something to go in there. And I need to put something here. Oh, we still haven't done that. That can be decorated. And then here, maybe I could... Let's see, I've got that beautiful thing to do something with that. Okay, let's come back over here. Okay, we've got this here. This is dried. It's lovely inside. And, oh, I know. I had my other little thing. Where's it gone? I put it aside. There it is. So, all this can slide in here. In which case, I don't feel like that page really needs too much more. Says she. <laughs> Except a little piece like that. So that could be a thing. And we could make a little tag to go in there. Or I can put, make something else to go in there. So two things. And this, this, I could attach this here and then slide, I think I'll do that, and slide that belly band in. I mean, slide that letter in. 
So I'm just going to put glue on this little band. And I made the band, obviously, before um, I glued it on. So that way I know the... So that way I'm not really covering up too much. And that will go in there. It slides in there, that lovely letter. And up here I could... I'll probably put a little bit of something up there. And you could make more and slide it in, you see. Oh, yes, this is really good. That up there. No, that's the same colour. We could put that there. No. I've got my favourite pinks over here. About a bit of this we haven't had any of this for a little while oh yes that's it i knew it i knew i knew that one would work because it's a favorite cool okay so that's that we've got to make something to go in there love that we might make something to go in there Bit of making, and we're going to do something here. We might embellish that page. Oh, I know what I might use that I it's an absolute all time favorite. Is does this fit? That is an all time favorite. I really love this one. So I'm super excited because yesterday, Steffi, um, I told you I bought a little table. <laughs> I don't know what it measures. He said, what, you bought a table and you wouldn't even know whether it's going to fit? And I like, I'm like, well, it looked like it, multi <laughs> it would fit. <laughs> anyway, he's put it down in our storeroom um, and we haven't measured it. But eyeballing, I think it's going to fit. So um, anyway, in my, in my workroom, for those who don't know, in when we go back to our place and um so last night he sort of we got all the measurements of my shelves and um that i have from previous you know before and i'm having uh some sh some cupboards like some ikea cupboards that we had on one wall in the kitchen um because they're quite deep and i think they can hold quite a lot and um I was going to have, like, there can be ones, one set's double, um, and then there's, like, single ones, and I thought I would have, you know, the one double one and one single one along the wall, but then I wouldn't have room for the table, so I've decided, we sort of, Steffi did a, a bit of a modelling for me to show me the space, we're going to have just the double one, and then I went on, I, I have the measurements, so... I went on the IKEA website and they've got little shelves. I can have three um, sets of little shelves that can fit on top. And, and he's done a 3D model and it looks quite nice. So that's what I'm going to do. And I might put all my crafty books up there. I've got lots of crafty books that were in our TV room. And I might put those up there. I don't know. I'll decide. And then I'm going to have three big tall bookshelves on the opposite wall. So I think I might, I would think I will have enough storage for, you know, my everyday crafting needs um and then the rest you know my stock for you know what i sell in my shop and everything that's going we're going to get um lock up cupboards for our parking space because we can't park in it the cars are too big for that that little space so we're going to put in cupboards down there and i can keep my stock down there because i had it all in my hallway before a house was a mess it was just full of my stuff so um and we will we have it we have a big hallway cupboard being built so i'll see i don't have that much <laughs> linen so um 
you know, like bedding and that sort of thing. So I'll see how I fill that. And if I've got space, I can put some of my, um, you know, hemp and stuff in there. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But I'm pretty excited about my room. I'm going to have my little sewing table. I'm so excited because I can leave my stitching out. And it may, it just if you can leave things out somewhere, it just is, makes it so much easier to feel inspired and sit down and do a bit rather than, you know, pulling it out and putting it away. Because this table, my work table is always covered with paper stuff because that's my daily sort of videos. And um, I'm going to try and keep my table, oh, famous last words, tidy. Because um, on one end, it's, it's going to be quite long. It'll be two metres. Um, so one end is going to have my computer just, you know, at an angle in the corner. So I can watch YouTube. I'll be really excited and I can watch Prime and stuff like that on the computer while I'm working. I love that that's going there. Now we do need a little bit of mark making on there with that I do feel I'm just gonna, oh I like that one that's it I was just gonna say I'm gonna audition this one but I don't think it'll work but I actually liked it we have to put all-time favorites in our just because books and that's going to go there. I feel like it might need something else, does it? Does it? Mm, I quite like that. There. There. We'll go down that way. I think I like it that way, even though I've got that there. So maybe I'll put it over there further. Okay, let's grab it. Let's fold this over so I don't get any sticky bits on my cherub. Yeah, I really do like that. Very pleased with that one. And I'm I might come back and do something else on there. I have got to do something here. We've done that. Oh my! Oh, I've got so many things to do. Okay, it's all right. We won't panic. Okay, so on here I thought I might do a little bit of stamping. Let me just pop up and grab my stays on. around okay so you can see how things are quite a long process aren't they now I don't want to necessarily get my stamp on there so I'm just going to go like this just a little bit there we go that'll do okay oopsie I nearly flung the the stays on Okay, let's put that over there and I'm going to <laughs> and look at my glue this is a disaster mm. just thank you it's like a comedy of errors don't know if I want those we'll think about that Okay, 
so okay need that bit of paper oh my goodness i'm in such a mess i might have a little piece of this put that tear it down a little bit further Oh, we didn't use this bird, did we? Well, that's pretty. I think I'm going to stick that on there and it can go right across the bag. Yes, that's it. Got it. I'm determined to use that bird. Determined. Be careful with my gluing. Famous last words. I see I have a piece stuck onto my finger. I'm being very careful not to put it down so it doesn't stick to my to my birdie because it'll go onto the page as well okay and I'm going to blob Take that piece of sticky tape off there. That won't bother me anymore. I'm going to blob a bit of blue on there. Not too much. And that will have to dry. Now that's an issue, isn't it? Well, we can get on and make some. We can get on and make some. Um, I like that. We can make some. It's such a it's such a plasticky nylon-y thing. You can just wipe, wipe the paint off. Don't even have to wash it. So we're just going to let that dry a minute, and we're going to make some some things to go in pockets because we've got a few of those to do. Now, none of these are correct to go into that pocket. So what I thought I might do in that pocket, let me just have a look somewhere. I'm trying to see somewhere in my ephemera, like this is a lovely piece of ephemera, I don't know if I could fold that well enough to get that to fit in there. I think this is too big. Um, I did print out a few things. Not that I needed to, but I have some new things. Well, no, these are not new, but I do have their other thing, old things, but I printed those out again as well. Um, they're all old things. in case I might like to use them and I didn't use them. I've got these, no, they don't fit. Something like that might fit. Too big. I did print out some of my painted paper. Oh, you know what I might do? I might make I might make a tag out of one of this, a bit of this. So let's just grab. Ok, 
Okay. Yes, that's going to be good. And I'm wondering if I should put that on there and trim that down. Use a piece of this on the back. Just glue this onto the back of that. I don't want it to go any wider, so I'm just going to trim. Can be a little bit taller, but not wider. It's got a pretty nice painted reverse side. I'm gonna make it into a tag. I'm gonna fall off my chair again. And I want to punch a hole in it. Where's my thing over here? Oh, I might do this one. No, I want to do my round one. It's a bit wet. And do I want anything else? I think I'm going to leave that one plain. That's just going to slide. I want to put some, I'm going to put some of this in there. I might put a whole reinforcer as well. I think I like the look of that. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Things are sticking to me. It's terrible. It's a terrible business. So it's a very mix, mishmash of things. Anyone who doesn't like mishmashes, it's not for you. But I like that. You don't even have to slide it all the way down. You can have that poking out the top. Okay, and then we need... Let's work on these a little bit. That might, let me just see, let's hold, keep that up. Will that slide in there? I'll need to just trim this one down a bit, or otherwise I could put something like that in there. I might, or I could fold a, I might go downstairs. I think I'll fold a piece of ephemera in there, and I'll just make that one to go in there. still have these little people floating around but nope they're not going to work still got things stuck on my fingers go on hop off okay and oh wait a minute now Tracy did have I don't think I've got any left no, be one of those. No. Okay. She had some. Oh, I know what I've got. Just a sec, if I can find them. Well, first of all, I might just put a little piece of this scanned piece of paper, painted paper, I wanted to say. I didn't finish my sentence. I might add that. No. Will I add it? No, I won't. That's okay. Can it go somewhere else? I did have somewhere. 
if I can find them. This is a disaster. I put it in here. You want to know. I had some stamp pieces of fabric somewhere. Do you think I can find them? They've been in my way for days and now I can't find them. Oh, I do like that. That covers it up. One of these little stitch pieces are too big for that tag. Goodness knows where I put them. Gosh, I'm spinning around in circles trying to find them, and I cannot. It's a mystery. I keep coming back to my scrap box because I know I had to dump them in there for a second. I've got plain fabric in there but not the stamped pieces. Well, I've done a real doozy hiding them somewhere. Didn't shove them down there, no. Hmm. Don't know. Right, not behind me. Hmm. Not on the floor, nope. Okay. I didn't want to pull out the stamps right now because I've got too much mess. Well, that's pretty. I think I'll put that on there after all of that. Okay, that's going to tuck in the pocket. I can't um, close this because this is still drying. That's just going to go in the envelope like so. I'm going to tuck a real piece of ephemera behind it. What else did we have to do? We've done that. Um, I may off camera do a little bit of stitching here and there, a bit, just a little bit more because I feel like we just might need a bit more there. That's all done that way. So and then I need to go this way, but I can't close it. I've got to make something for that pocket. And then I want to make a little tag to go in that one. So this big one's going to go in here and probably a piece of 
you know, old book page or something like that. So, again, I'm just going to snip my corners off because I like doing that. Don't want to cover up all of the. I quite like that. Hmm. I could glue that. I think I'm going to glue that on there. So I'm going to grab my Giotto glue. I'm just smooshing the glue all over the fabric. even go onto the fabric you see cool and that would tuck in that other pocket over here I'll just let it dry but that's going to slide in there and you'll be able to see the little fellow in there and I wanted to make a little tag to go on that other pocket and then I think we're done this one. I love this and I don't want too much for it. I could even put, I might stitch this on as a tab. Let's do that. I've got sticky fingers so it won't appreciate. I'm liking this this blue here. It's a, well it's probably, it's so old it might not, They sometimes they discontinue um, that number and then they have a different number. It's 939 that one It's very hard to stitch When you have sticky fingers, but I'm going to try Because everything sticks to you See, that's what happens, you get all your threads go off because they stick to your fingers. Mm, it's terrible. I'm only struggling, struggling because my fingers are sticky. Let's just get the threads all even again. Oh my goodness. See? Okay. Oh, well that was a struggle. And then, do I want to put anything on there? 
or do I want to just leave it? It could be just cute left and and then something can happen to it afterwards. I'll tell you what would be nice is a cute little stamped <laughs> piece of fabric, but I can't find them. Can I put that there? I like that. I think I'm just going to leave it. Or a little butterfly. I did see a little butterfly somewhere. Where did I see the little butterfly? Did I pull it out? Not that little butterfly. I saw another. Oh, I know. It was in here. It's quite cute, actually. I'm going to put the little butterfly on there. Okay, so let's check. That's still wet because I did blob the glue on. So that's... You know what? We could... Maybe I'll just blot it. Take off the blobs so it'll dry faster. Okay. And then, that way we can keep on keeping on otherwise. I won't be able to. So that, it's not all sticky anymore, I'll just slide that in there. That's going in there and I think that's really cute. And that's that and that is going in there. It's not that tight so it could slip out. And then it shouldn't be too wet anymore. We've done a little thing in here. And then I'm going to put some, some real ephemera in there just a minute. I must have something floating around that I could put in. Well, I've got old book pages. Let's put an old book page in. That's very fragile. I could put that. Let's get the double, see if I can get the double page. There's a few pages there. It's a bit grungy, but I think I'll put that in there. Just slide that in. Now, I do tend to hoard these things, but I, I've got to stop it. I've got so much stuff, and I hoard it all. Now, it's quite thick. That's why I'm having trouble, and it's it's delicate. So, now I'm having trouble with that. Um, maybe I could put that in somewhere else. Um, no, it's too delicate. I can't get it in there. Um, well, what else? This is a lovely piece of rag paper. <laughs> I do generally like to stitch these into journals. Oh, my goodness, having trouble... Tearing it, tearing it is not possible, so we won't tear it. We'll keep it. Won't fit that way. It has to go that way, but I think it's going. Oh, this is a. Oh, no, it will fit. Come on, have faith. Slide it in there. Come on, in you go. In between the the ties. Yes, that's good. Okay, that's going to go in there. It's very chunky. Okay, let's do a flip through. See how we're going. So that's it. So that's the cover. Then we've got this lovely old, um, I think that was the check, and I put the little tag in there. Got some old letter, just a vintage letter, and this old card. I don't know what it was. Made that little tag to go in there, or journal card. That just clips on there. Made this little one to pop in that pocket as well. 
got some old book page there and a little journal card in there. Put the glassine bag, stamped it, collaged on it, put some paint on and just made a, a tag. And just, I think I just love that. I might do a little bit of stitching up here with the blue. Let's just have a look. Oh, I had, to, oh, here we go. What's on the other? Oh, no, I can't do that because I've got my window there. But I could do some down there. Let's do this. Which is the easiest thing to do. Just go over the edge. Just a bit of fun. It's nice thick paper. I like it. as long as you don't do you, you know, punch your holes next to each other, then you'll be fine. Okay, now it's time to end it off. We'll end it off. I love that. Oh, there we go. That just adds that little bit of extra touch to it. I'll just tie those just in case that one didn't go through. Oops. Okay. So that's that. Oh, I love that. And then that's that one there. And then that's the back. So it's complete. Pretty sure it's complete now. So I hope you enjoyed that. I had so much fun making it. There's little bits of journaling spots, so it could be for a little documentation of something. Oh, that's sliding out. Let's just tuck that in. Okay. And um, that was super fun. Super fun, super fun. So I hope you enjoyed that, and we will be on to the next thing tomorrow. Um, so thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. I'm going to tidy up before tomorrow, I hope. And, um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye.